everybody, Lindsay here, and this is my review for Lamb. <laughs> Lamb uh, is a new release. I just went and saw it in the theater last night. It was a selection in the Cannes Film Festival directed by Vladimir Johansson. I'm not familiar with any of his other work. <laughs> I, I knew very little about this film going in. I hadn't watched any trailers. I saw the poster and I knew it was gonna be weird. And that's really all I knew. And that's the way to go into this movie, is not knowing much about it. So if you have not seen it and are planning on going to see it, don't watch any trailers, shut this review off, go see it, and then come back. <laughs> but if you have seen it, or you have no interest in seeing it, and just want to know what happens, or to listen to my review about it, keep watching. I'll talk about some non-spoilerish stuff first and then we'll get into spoilers because holy shit. <laughs> but first, my overall thoughts on the film. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, like I said, I didn't know quite what to expect going in. It is subtitled, but there's not a lot of dialogue in this film. It's slowly but steadily paced, so I could see this boring some people. But fucking hang in there, because I promise it's worth it. <laughs> Don't let that scare you away. It is beautifully shot. There are so many shots in this film that I would frame and hang on my wall. It's The cinematography is fucking gorgeous and so well done. And the setting is incredible. It's shot in uh, parts of Norway and Sweden, I believe. And there's, there's mountains and all this scenery and open spaces. And it's, it's just beautiful. And it fits the tone of the film very, very well. This isolation and just vast openness. It, it fits very well. I <laughs> it, it's hard to... Um, uh, focus on some of the deeper meanings of this film. Uh, they're there, uh, but they're overshadowed by a few things. But it, it deals mostly with grief and loss and, and how grief can manifest in different ways. <laughs> but the star is Nubi Rapace, and it's about her and her husband who live on this small sheep farm and they're in the middle of birthing season, and one night, one of their sheep gives birth to something different. <laughs> and, and the rest of the story plays out from there. And like I said, it's, it's a very enjoyable film. It sucks you in, slowly, but surely it sucks you in. And, and it's one hell of a ride <laughs> by the time we get to the ending. So, like I said, if you have not seen it, go watch it. Don't, don't read into it. Don't, even, don't do any research on it. Just go see this movie and then come back and tell me what you thought. Because <laughs> I would be very interested to know. Because I think one of three things will happen. Either you'll really love it and, and be drawn into the greater themes of it and, and the power of it and what they're truly going for. Two, you won't be able to get past some of the weirdness, but you'll really, really enjoy the weirdness. Or three, you're going to fucking hate it. <laughs> All right, so we got non-spoiler talk out of the way. Those were my overall first thoughts after seeing the film one time. So now let's talk about spoilers because holy fucking balls. <laughs> This movie, holy shit. Like I said, 
I I didn't watch any of the trailers. I kind of knew what was gonna what was gonna happen. What the lamb was going to be. I had an inkling. I just used my context clues and and like okay maybe that that's probably what they're gonna do. But I still was not prepared for what I was gonna see on screen. <laughs> they 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 introduce it very slowly. I mean there are subtitles in this film. It's a it's very foreign. It's got a lot of umlauts in the the credits, which is not knocking it. It's just it's it's a it's a total vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe unto its own, I would say. <laughs> but they they reveal it very slowly that this sheep gave birth to a, a half human hybrid for some reason, and. Uh, <laughs> when it happens, they they just kind of Numi Rapace and her husband just kind of look at each other like, okay, we're gonna raise this as our old, as our own child. And so they bring this child in that's got the body of a human child and then one hoof arm. And its head and shoulders is that of a lamb. And it's the cutest fucking thing you'll ever see in your life. I, it's just adorable when they dress it up in the little clothes and it's walking around or it's dancing or it's, or it's just, you know, cuddling with them. It's fucking adorable. And I couldn't get over how cute it was with its little hoof hand. Oh my God. And then there's the brother character that gets introduced and there's just this overwhelming building sense of dread throughout the entire film that keeps you on the edge of your seat because you are terrified that something's gonna happen to this little creature. This adorable fucking little thing that came out of nowhere for no reason and no one talks about it! They never have a discussion about, hey, this thing was born maybe we should talk about what it is or where maybe where it came from or how we feel about it but no they never they never discuss it ever even when the brother shows up and he's like what's this fucking thing which i would have had a little stronger reaction than he did uh it was more his it was, was pretty tone for what he saw and what he stumbled upon i'd have been like what what what's that why why is that where'd that come from but no like I said, they never discuss it. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> and it's it's very sweet. They have their little happy family and they're very happy. But there's these dark malevolent forces underneath it. Like when Numi Rapace kills the thing's mother because the mother sheep wants her baby. And there's some kind of presence stalking them. I mean, you 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 get a sense of it at the beginning uh, when they show it coming into the barn and and doing whatever it did. Uh, <laughs> at first, when it happened, I was like, "Is her husband fucking the sheep? What what happened here?" But <laughs> if I was newly replaced, I would have some serious questions. Uh, for my husband to answer. <laughs> but they're they're treating it exactly like a human child. I mean, they got a crib for it. And, and there's, an, there's another underlying story that they've obviously lost their own child. And it's very sad. And, and it's ha handled very subtly but effectively. And it plays into the grief themes and stuff like that. But, but this is a folk horror tale they're, they're marketing this as horror but it, it it doesn't have a lot of horror aspects to it it's it's just a gothic folk tale is what it is and it goes on and 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 there's really no plot other than just them existing with this child and, and things are happening like the brother character comes to visit and is weirded out by everything and there's some kind of past uh uh, shenanigans with him and Numi Rapace that they kind of hint at but don't go into too much depth on 
And then there's one point where the, the, the brother takes the kid out and is gonna shoot it in the face. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> And, and, and your heart is just, just ripped to shreds because you, you, you don't want anything to happen to this little child. But, but they make it so, like, anything could happen to it at any time. And it's terrifying. Oh my god. I never thought I would get that invested. And then we get to the end, and this thing that's been kind of omin ominously stalking in the background comes to the forefront and kills the dog. That good dog that they just call dog. And uh, he kills the dad. And Naomi repays his husband. Shoots him. Picks up a gun and shoots them. And then it's revealed that it's this horned half man half ram creature. That lives in the mountains. That came back to reclaim its child. And you're just like what the fuck. And he's got a, he's got a dump truck ass. <laughs> Because <laughs> he's not wearing any clothes. He's just a naked man with, with a with a ram head. And I I there's some allusions to that this farm has been you know breeding and slaughtering or whatever sheep for many many years, and this is just the spirit of the mountains exacting revenge or something like that. I, I have no idea. I, <laughs> the absurdity of, of this, this half human, half sheep child kind of trumps a lot of the deeper themes that are going on within the film. And so it's hard to balance those out. I, I will not stop thinking about this movie for a very long time. And I want as many people as possible to go see it because it's it's just the, the oddest thing. And I don't know what to make of it, but I'm so drawn to it and affected by it and I don't know why. And I'm struggling with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, Lamb, go see this movie. Just go see it and report back to me, please. Because I... <laughs> Another friend of mine went and saw it last night and him and, two other, and his two other friends were the only people in the theater and they just could not contain themselves over what was unfolding on the screen in front of them. <laughs> this is a sleeper hit of the year, I think. And as many people as possible need to go see it. I am, I am pro-lamb. Go see this movie. <laughs> it is a cinematic experience. Well, that is going to do it for this little review. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you go see the movie. And come back and tell me what you thought. Please, please do. <laughs> this is Lindsay signing off. I'll check you later.